Hey, what's up, guys? Brian Neal back here. Um, this is uh, going back to what we talked about, or the, the email I sent out last week, asking if anybody had any questions about how the training season. And um, some of the responses I got back were, which I think a lot of people kind of struggle with, is how do you balance or how do you deal with one of your one of your pitchers, your star pitchers, my ace pitcher, uh, ace athlete, uh, also plays another position, right? So you know, obviously in college and pros, you really don't have to worry about that too much. Um, there are some special players who might be dual guys, but in high school, you know, that, that, that's pretty common, I think. Um, so I wanted to just try to make a quick video, and I don't want to waste a ton of your time, but I do want to try to give um, a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of value here, as much value as I can. So I, I actually took some notes. You see me look down, it's because I'm taking, I'm reading off my notes a little bit, but uh, just kind of went. Um, a pitcher, high school pitcher, throws 75 to 80 pitches. Um, on a seven-day rotation, right? He also plays, you know, uh, maybe some infield, a little bit of outfield. I think that's really kind of where you're going to kind of struggle with it, right? Um, you know, if we're in the weight room two times a week, we, you know, our college athletes will lift two times a week. Um, <clears throat> if we can get a third in, we will, which it's kind of rare, uh, just how the uh, schedule works out. Some of our relief pitchers and starting pitchers get a little bit more, but for our hitters and mainly for the majority of our pitchers, we'll get at least two. Um, but if in high school, if you got a, if if you're lifting for uh, two times a week for 45 minutes, right? Two 45-minute sessions per week. I think that's probably pr probably pretty good for most for most high school uh, uh, for most high school training. Uh, we try to lift somewhere between 45 to an hour um, in college because we have a little bit more time and availability with weight rooms. Um, uh, but two times 45 minutes that's 90 minutes a week, right? To spend in the weight room. Um, 90 minutes a week, say 20 minutes of that is warm up, so 10 minutes on day one, 10 minutes on day two, you're warming up. Um, same thing for abs and forearms, 10 minutes on day one, 10 minutes on day two. So that's from that 90 minutes, we're looking at maybe 50 minutes left, right, total. Um, maybe throw another five minutes of arm care on day one, five minutes of arm care on day two, that's an extra 10 minutes out of that. So really you're looking at about, <clears throat> excuse me, 40 minutes of training uh, total. For the week, um, so you go from 90 minutes is, is, is kind of how you see it. It's a 45 minute lift. Well, really, yeah, it's a 45 minute lift. You're in the weight room for 45 minutes, but you're really only in there doing um, lower body, upper body for 20 minutes, right? If you, 20 minute workout. Add 10 minutes for the uh, for the warm up. Add 10 minutes for the abs and forearms, and add uh, five minutes for arm catch. Your 45 minute lift, right? So you're really kind of only in there training for 20 minutes. Um, so it should, and, and that's probably about the way it should be. You know, it should be more quality over quantity when you when you're talking about in season training. So, um, you know, a lot of people want to back off in the weight room in season. Is they're going to get tired, going to get hurt, whatever it is. But you know, like I said, you're really kind of lifting and pushing yourself for about 20 minutes. And, and on top of that, man, you got you got to think you're probably doing half up or half lower. Um, so you're really doing 10 minutes of lower body, 10 minutes of upper body. Um, do that twice a week you, you, you know you can see kind of where that's it shouldn't affect you as much as maybe some people uh, will say it does so uh, some of the some of the responses I got from my email was uh, you know how do we manage um, a guy who throws or you know a guy who pitches and also plays um, uh, a position in season lifting wise well like I said you know you're really looking at maybe 20 minutes twice a week of actual training. So I don't know if I'd back down a whole lot there. If I did, I might back down some pressing motion, something like that, but I wouldn't back down on the lower body. Wouldn't back down on posterior, uh, you know, pulling or posterior chain or anything like that. That's where um, your speed, your power, and your health is gonna come from, okay? Your safety is gonna come from. But what I kind of wanted to get into was, um, and I think this kind of gets away from some people, <clears throat> and, and this is why I, I wanted to take notes, but. If, if you got a guy who's throwing 75 to 80 pitches, okay, that's countable pitches. Okay, that's not including warm-ups, that's not including bullpen, that's not including um, warm-ups between innings. So that's just, that's countable pitches, 75 to 80 pitches. Um, he's probably playing catch, and I just, I wrote this down, this may be right, this may not be right. You know, probably playing, playing catch every day five, for five days during the week. 
you know, he's maybe doing like 10 throws at 30 feet, 10 at 60, 10 at 90, 10 at 120, and then maybe pulling down for, for, uh, for 10, right? So as we're warming up, we're, we might be throwing uh, 50 throws, right? Something like that. Uh, that's when like pre-practice or pre-game, whatever it is, just kind of warming up our arm. Um, and then if, if we practice two days a week, I, I'm assuming that most people play three, day, three, uh, three games a week. If we practice the other two days, um, you know, we may be, you know, turning double plays or relays or whatever it is. So I, I expect, and again, this, this might not be everybody, but maybe another 50 throws in practice, right? So you're going, um, when you start, you're throwing 80 countable pitches. Okay, um, and if we're gonna if we're gonna warm up our arms five days a week, that's another 250 throws. Um, if we're practicing two days a week, and we're doing um, uh, I'm sorry, if we're doing uh, 50, sorry, if we're doing 50 extra throws, you know, turning double plays, realize whatever it is, um, you know, you might be doing a 50 per day, so that's an extra hundred. Um, and then if your guy throws a bullpen or whatever it is, maybe that might be an extra 30 to 50, um, depending on how you count that. So, you know, we're really looking at what? That's 80, excuse me, 80 plus 250, excuse me, 330, plus another 100 is 430, plus maybe another bullpen. So we're going to have 460 throws, maybe total, a week. Um, maybe, you know, it may be more, maybe a little bit less. Um, so, you know, I think that's kind of where you really need to be careful. Um, I think, you know, a pitcher that goes to play first base, not throwing as much, that's better than a pitcher maybe going to play shortstop or a pitcher going to play outfield where, you know, you, you throw 80 pitches and the next day, man, you're, you know, you're, you're throwing to third base, you're throwing home, whatever it is, you know, max effort throws from the outfield are a little bit tougher um, on the arm than it is, you know, just catching a ball and, you know, tossing it back to the pitcher. So. Um, I kind of added some things up for like our college starters, you know, they may start <clears throat> say on a Friday and throw 100 pitches. Okay, that's not, again, it's not including their warm ups, it's not including what they're doing in the bullpen, it's not including uh, uh, inner inning pitches. And then the next day, day one, you know, they may toss a little bit, maybe 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 50. I'm just using 50 as, as an example. Day two, they may toss a little bit more. Day three, they may toss, they may not uh, pick up a ball day three. Um, you know, they may on day four have a 30 pitch bullpen. Um, day five, they may throw. Day six, they may throw. Um, a lot of our guys will take at least one day off okay, in, those, in those six days. So we're really looking at 330 to three, maybe 350, 380 pitches or throws total a week as opposed to, uh, what did I say, uh, 450 or something or 400 and I can't remember exactly what it was. Um, for a, a high school guy, you know, maybe throwing um, his uh, his start and then practice double plays, relays, um, uh, you know, kind of whatever that is. Okay, so you can kind of see, and then you do that over a couple months, and somebody who's who's, who's not used to it, somebody who's not as physical um, in terms of uh, in terms of just some resilience in the body and lifting and and really training uh, the right way. So. You know, you may be throwing 100, 100 throws more in a week um, than, than most of our college starters will. Maybe. Uh, again, this is, isn't going to apply to everybody, but I think it's something that, that maybe you should, should track and keep up with um, to try to really uh, uh, e uh, ease that guy into it or uh, maybe back him off on a day or something like that. Hey, man, you know, hey, let's, let's not, you know, let's not turn – as many double plays today, or hey man, if you got an outfit, hey, you know, let's just go nice and easy to our cutoff. Let's not, you know, try to rip it and, and pull it down to third or to home or whatever it is. So I think it's something that you kind of got to look at there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily back off too, too much again in the weight room because, like I said, man, you're, you're getting about 20 minutes a, um, a day of, of really training, and it should be quality work. It shouldn't be. Um, a ton of stuff, but just good, clean, um, uh, uh, strength type work, um, and then make sure you're hitting your arm care, make sure you're hitting your mobility, your stretches, things like that, um, which I think would be obviously beneficial for everybody to do, not just your pitchers. But if you have a guy that's going out throwing, you know, 75 
80 pitches, maybe 100 pitches, and maybe doing that twice a week or even once a week, you got to make sure that they're hitting their arm care hard, um, they're hitting the weights hard, and that they are um, being monitored in terms of overall throws, right? So, um, you know, it, it's, a, it's a little bit tough to manage. I know, especially when your guy's going, from, you know, your best player, your best athlete's going from the mound on uh, you know, Wednesday and playing shortstop on Friday or whatever it is, like you got to have that guy out there. I get it 100%. Um, but just you know, might want to manage those those throws on on Thursday, uh, just to make sure we're not going to wear them out um, uh, too soon, too early, and do too much with them. Uh, you know, if it's a more physical guy, an older guy, more mature guy, that um, uh, you know, maybe a senior who's kind of been in it, uh, who's done it for a couple of years, who's you know lifted weights, you know, he can probably do it. But if you got you know maybe a stud freshman or sophomore, someone like that, that's you know 100. 50 pounds, something like that, you know, he may not be able to, to handle it over the course of a season. So you may have to start tapering them down uh, through that. So I know it's <clears throat> getting a little lengthy here and I hope this has helped. I, th I hope it's kind of um, uh, brought to your attention, maybe some things to like do and track and monitor and, and, and how you can make things a little bit better, more efficient, maybe in practice uh, for your guys. Um, who are uh, who are pitching and who are playing a position, but um, you know, to 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 take them out of the weight room or do do anything like that. Like I said, you know, you, you're only getting a small window, and it's not a ton of of lifting that they're actually doing uh, that might be deterring or might be um, a detriment to their ability. Uh, it might just be that they're getting tired and they're not used to the amount of volume that they're that they're throwing. So um, keep working them hard, keep doing what you're doing. Um, but again, just kind of be cognizant of some different things that, that are going on. Um, you know, in the weight room, if we're doing three sets of something, you know, maybe, you know, that guy's going back down to two sets on an upper body push, an upper body pull, just to kind of give a little bit of a break to their upper body. But the lower half, I, mean, I, I, would, I would still kind of hit that hard. Um, in the weight room just to make sure they got that, that strength, that power, that stability in the lower half, uh, whether they're hitting or pitching, whatever it is. Um, they're, keep, they're, they're staying strong, keeping their velo up uh, from the, from the uh, lower half. So anyway, again, I know, it's, uh, I know it's lengthy, and I appreciate you guys sticking around for the last 12 minutes, 13 minutes. Um, but if there's anything else I can answer, just fire them at me, email me, and um, it may take me a few days to get to it. Just I want to put some thought into it, but just let me know and uh, we'll try to get this thing going. Appreciate y'all. Check it next time.